Did you know that the entire universe is made up of atoms? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we will learn about the structure of atoms. So what is an atom? Atoms are the building blocks of everything in this universe. Let's say we had an incredibly powerful microscope that has the ability to zoom in billions and millions of times. If we put a single particle of sand under it and zoom in far enough, we would see that this tiny sand particle is made up of millions of atoms. Normally, scientists don't divide atoms into smaller particles, so that's why we refer to an atom as the smallest unit of an element. All of the different physical and chemical properties of an element are determined by the arrangement of atoms. Just as how elements combine together to form compounds, atoms combine together to form molecules. An atom is so tiny that if we arrange a million atoms in a row, their length would be the same as the thickness of a single hair strand. So let's take a look at the structure of an atom. All atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. We call these three building blocks of atoms subatomical particles. An atom has a nucleus in the center and an electron cloud surrounding it. The protons and neutrons of an atom are in the nucleus, while the electrons are in the electron cloud that surrounds the nucleus. The reason why we say electrons are found in an electron cloud is because they're moving and spinning randomly at incredibly high speeds. An electron cloud is a region around the nucleus where there's a high probability of finding an electron. The electron cloud has different energy levels called shells or orbitals in which electrons are bound. Each energy level or orbital has a limit to how many electrons it can hold. There are many similarities between protons and neutrons. Both protons and neutrons have the same mass. Only protons and neutrons contribute to the mass of an atom. The mass of an electron is so insignificant compared to the mass of a proton or a neutron. In comparison, a proton weighs 1,836 times more. That's why the atomic mass of an element is calculated by the number of protons and neutrons in its atom. Let's look at the properties of protons, neutrons, and electrons. If we're to separate protons, neutrons, and electrons and place them on a table, and we're to bring a magnet close to these subatomic particles, we would see that the negative pole of the magnet would attract protons, and the positive pole would attract electrons. Neutrons wouldn't respond to the magnet. This is because protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged, and neutrons don't have an electric charge, they're neutral. If we were to measure the electric charge of an atom, we would find that it is neutral. In an atom, the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons revolving around the nucleus. The total positive charge of the proton in the nucleus and the total negative charge of the electrons in the electron cloud cancel each other out, so the net charge of the atom is zero, making it neutral. Atoms form bonds with other atoms and create molecules. They do this by sharing, taking, or giving electrons. If an atom gives an electron, it will have fewer electrons than the total number of protons, so it becomes a positive ion and the atom has a positive charge. Similarly, if an atom takes an electron, it will have more electrons than the number of protons, so it becomes a negative ion and the atom has a negative charge. That's because of the balance between the number of protons and electrons changes. Let's review what we just learned. Atoms are the building blocks of everything in the universe. Atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons are positively charged. Electrons are negatively charged. And neutrons have no charge. Each atom has an electron shell that surrounds a nucleus. The electron cloud contains different energy levels, also known as shells. The atomic mass of an atom is the sum of both of protons and neutrons. The mass of electrons is tiny compared to protons and neutrons.